leper of a tribe. He was transported here by the tribe leader when he was a child, and he has lived here ever since, going to a shop to buy carrots and butter. Outside, his fiance is standing as a gang appears. Because they had removed their right eye for the gang, this gang is known as the left eye gang. The gang leader adores White Knife's fiance and wants to kidnap her before he comes out. This is discovered by White Knife, who sees him as he emerges. The gang boss tells White Knife that he can't put an end to us because we are too many. Then something unbelievable happens, the White Knife defeats them, and they are bound with the rod at the end of the fight. A wooden tank was also used to bind the gang leader. Meanwhile, the shopkeeper emerges and attempts to strike White Knife, but White Knife, manages to evade his attack. Later, he and his fiancé return to his tribe. He is the most courageous member in his tribe. From the start, he was not a member of this tribe. They've shown him how to live in the outside world. In quest of his kid, a white man arrives at the tribe. He claims he hasn't seen his son since he was a child. We learn that White Knife was his son, whom he had lost as a child. His father is a thief but he now wants to escape. He now wishes to live his life as he pleases. While robbing, he made a lot of money. He now want to give this sum of money to his kid. As a result, his kid will put this money to good use for his tribe. White Knife realizes his real name is Tommy, and at his fiancé's request, he accepts the money from his father. Let me tell you that he does not have this money at the moment, and that his father is buried it behind the pine trees. Tommy informs his father that while he was in school, some hooligans killed his mother. His father claims to have concealed the money in the adjacent mountains among the pine trees. He was telling him where the money was, but his gang members caught up with her. They want money as well, and are willing to sacrifice the entire tribe for it. They later kidnap Tommy's father and have him drive them to the buried money. While leaving him a clue, his father tells him that the money is buried near a windmill, Tommy believes he will recover his father's money now that he has departed. He will free his father from the gang in exchange for money. When he goes to the mountains in search of money, he runs into a predicament. There were numerous pine trees, and he has no idea where the money is buried. His commander tells him that after a long day of digging, he might consider earning money in another way. How did he make $50,000 in just a few hours? He has no choice but to commit robbery, something he does not want to do. Then he thinks about traveling to the city and robbing the bad guys. It implies that he will not damage the good and will take money from the bad. He shaves his head to conceal his identity. He puts on nice clothes and travels to the city, where he is given shelter by a lady. He learns that he has a sibling from that lady. His stepbrother's name is Ramon, and he is a part of this endeavor. They will now commit robbery as a group in order to meet their father. They are going to save their father from the thugs. They plan to rob a bank in order to obtain the funds they require. Tommy walks into the bank through the window. When the bank manager notices him, Ramon meets another boy, who turns out to be their stepbrother. He enlists the boy's assistance in their objective. They will now collect the funds. Tommy was robbing money when he discovered a message from his father nearby. He wrote a long time ago for a young child named Johnny, who steals money while eluding the bank manager. He is successful in his theft of the money. They flee, but the manager is hot on their tail. The Left Eye Gang is shown plotting retaliation against Tommy, and the shop owner who attacked Tommy, is also seen with them. The brothers are shown in the campaign for a night. Their third brother claims that he has a strong neck and that if he punishes them, nothing would happen. They meet a man who lives in the mountains the next day. He informs them about his life. They find out he's their fourth stepbrother and include him into their plot. The next day, they go to a salon to learn about the city's wealthy residents. As a result, they will attempt to rob them. The barber informs them that a local public house is serving a gold chicken nugget. If they steal it, it will be sold for a high price. It's pricey, so they devise a scheme to steal it. They met a man in a public house who was looking for their father and asked about him. In the meantime, the proprietor of the public place begins abusing the man. When the stranger approaches them, they learn that he is their fifth stepbrother. 
The sons of Frank raise their hands and say, Tommy. They raise their hands, and the boy who plays the piano here raises his hand as well. He is their sixth sibling. They were given the moniker Ridiculous Six and are now on the lookout for their father in the nighttime. They first succeed in stealing the golden chicken nugget. When the owner notices them, he points a rifle at them and demands that they return the nugget. Ramon smashes his head with a shovel and separates his head by accident. Before dying without his head, the owner of the public house fires at them. They are taken aback when they see him and are unable to flee. Later, they meet a man who informs them that he is inventing a game called baseball, and that if they play it with him, he will tell them about treasure. He is also acquainted with their father. They have fun with him and he teaches them a lot about treasure. They find the location, but they still need to steal another $30,000. They relocate to a village to do so. Their third brother is revealed to be misbehaving with a lady. He was punished by being chained, but the others were plundering the place. As a result, they will finish their money. They were able to rob with ease because the villagers had gone to watch their brother's punishment. They robbed a gold shop, and their brother was sentenced to prison. Their sibling stated unequivocally that he has a strong neck. Their sibling wasn't afraid of being slung around, in fact, he seemed to like it. The villagers were taken aback when they saw him. The village head was about to kill him by shooting him, but his brothers intervene and save him, stealing valuables in the process. In the next shot, they are seen bathing in a river. The left eye gang strikes them here and then flees with their money. They have now lost everything they have. Their efforts to save their father have left them unsatisfied. One of them informs them about the possibility of gambling. The wealthy go there, and they may rob them if they want to. It's possible that their hope is still alive. They move there, where Ramon establishes himself as a prosperous trader. His guards were the others, but a guy accuses them. They flee after terrifying them with a knife and robbing them all of their money. They arrived at the location indicated by the baseball player, but the windmill was not visible. They get concerned about the whereabouts of the wealth. In the meantime, they discover the left eye gang hidden beneath the ground. They claim this was done to them by the man who kidnapped their father. They are shown removing members of the left eye gang from the planet. Ramon shows them a photo of their father from their childhood. The criminal who kidnapped their father was also in the image. Tommy finds a tattoo on his hand, and the same tattoo was on the hand of the man who killed his mother. He realized that this thug was responsible for the death of my mother, and he intends to exact vengeance on him. He is going to save his father. While looking at the position of the sand temperature, Tommy can find the mobster. What happened to them? They'll travel to that side, but Tommy doesn't want to get his brothers involved in any problems. He only wants to exact revenge on his mother. They will be active during the day and rest at night. When he had the chance, Tommy penned a letter to his brothers and fled. He uses his skills to go to the gangster, and when he gets there, he asks his guy to show his hand. It had the same tattoo on it, and he points his gun at Tommy, but Tommy, was already prepared, and he hits that mobster with his knife. With that knife strike, the thug dies there. Meanwhile, the gangster's associates were going to attack Tommy, but his brothers come, as well as the left eye gang, to save him. As a result, the gangster's associates flee the scene and free their father. Later, their father runs into his sons, who he has no idea exist or not. They inform their father that we have taken a substantial sum from the amount needed to save you. We have more money, and their father's behavior changes as a result. He summons his gangster, who arrives, and they realize that their father isn't a good man, and that he was acting in this manner because he thought Tommy would help his father get money. To save his father, Tommy will go to any length. His father has devised this scheme in order to generate money in this manner. His fiancé has been taken away by his father. After a massive shootout, we learn that the left eye gang has its own eyes. They lied that they don't have left eyes. As a result, they'll be seen as tough by everyone. After a confrontation between the brothers and the left eye gang, they were able to successfully